welcome to our kitchen. I'm the penguin. And I'm the chef. And today we are going to make some raisin bread pudding. One of my favorites. We had a viewer that had said that they were having a little bit of trouble getting their bread pudding to turn out. So I thought we would share our recipe and it's going to be very cold tomorrow. So this is something that's good to um, be warmed up. And it has a nice vanilla sauce that goes on the top of it. Kind of warm your tummy. So if you guys want to join along while we make this, you're more than welcome to. So I'll share my ingredients with you as we get ready to make this. But first off, I wanted to say thank you to our new subscribers and welcome. Thank you. Um, our old subscribers, thank uh, you. Thank you. Uh, we love you all and we appreciate you very much. Um, you know, our goal eventually is to get to a thousand subscribers where we can do a live and, but for now we'd be happy to get to 500 subscribers. And when we do, we'll be doing a little giveaway at 500 subscribers. So we'll, um, pick a gift card and, um, give it to some lucky viewer when the time comes. We still have a little ways to go, but we're slowly getting there. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day for sure. Um, but anyway, if you like any of our videos, please comment. We love to read the comments. Please like and subscribe, and feel free to share any of our videos if you'd like to. Okay, now with that business out of the way, we're going to get down to some ingredients that we're going to need for this. Now, I typically use French bread. You can use regular loaf bread if you want. Um, I would make it, you know day old or a couple of days old um you can always take bread and put it on a baking sheet and put it in the oven and dry it out but you really don't have to to me that's just a lot of unnecessary work but here i just have i got this at walmart it was only a dollar that's why this is pretty inexpensive to make this is a 14 ounce loaf and right here it shows how much the loaves weigh if you can see that right there if it'll focus 14 ounces so, you can anywhere from 14 ounce to 20 ounce loaf of French bread would be great. We're going to cut this up in about one to two inch squares. Just cube it up and put it in a bowl. And on top of that, we're going to be adding um, four large eggs that we're going to lightly beat up. A cup of white sugar, granulated sugar. Um, I like to use a half a cup of brown sugar just because I like the flavor of the brown sugar. I use the light brown sugar. We're going to need about four cups of milk, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a teaspoon of nutmeg, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a half a cup of raisins to a cup of raisins. But because the chef loves raisins, we're going to... <laughs> he loves raisins! We're going to be doing a cup of raisins in ours. Now that's what we're going to need for the bread pudding itself. We're going to cook this in an oven that's set for 350 degrees and it'll bake for anywhere from 40 to 50 minutes, depending on how long it takes it to set. Then, you can't have a good bread pudding without a sauce. There's a multitude of sauces that you can make for this. You can make um, a rum sauce, a butter sauce, a caramel sauce. But we like the traditional vanilla cream sauce, which is what we're going to do for this one. I had originally planned on adding some rum to this, but I thought, eh. Rum's not something that probably many people have in their house. So we're just going to try to keep it to the basic staples. But when we get ready to do our, our sauce, which we're going to do on this video also, you're going to need two tablespoons of butter, one and a quarter cups of milk, a pinch of salt, a tablespoon of vanilla. We're also going to need a half a cup of light brown sugar, a tablespoon of all-purpose flour, a pinch of cinnamon, and an egg. So I will show you how to fix all that when we get to that point. But right now, we're going to get ready to cut up this French bread. What do you got to say, Chef? Bread pudding's always good as long as it's got some raisins in it. In it, in it. <laughs> it's got to have raisin in it. In it, in it. I, could, I could have raisin bran without the bran, just the raisin. I'm like, why bother buying raisin bran? Why not just dump a bowl of raisins in a bowl and pour some milk over it? And sugar. Well, raisins already have sugar in it. In it, in it. Yeah, but I'm not on a diet. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, we are going to get started making this bread pudding, so stick around, y'all, and join us in our kitchen.
All right, let's get ready to cut up some bread. I took my bread out of the bag, and we're just going to cut it into a couple of sections. Everybody knows how to cut bread, I know, but we're just doing this as a chit-chat session because, you know, the penguin loves to talk. So I hope everybody has had a great week. The weekend is almost upon us. I know for a lot of us that stay home, it really doesn't make a difference whether it's the week or the weekend, but for some reason, it just, I don't know, it just kind of perks up the spirit when you when you know you're on the weekend. Um, I think it's because we're so used to it. You know, when we were kids, we loved it when the weekend came. And then working all the time, we always looked forward to the weekends when we didn't have to work. Bless the hearts of the ones that do. But then again, I'm sure that they're still happy that during this time that they still have a job to go to. So, so many people that don't. But I'm just cutting this up right now into cubes. You can cut it into one inch cubes, two inch cubes. Nothing fancy about it, really. It's all going to get saturated in liquid. So, to me, a lot of times bread pudding seems about the same as a French toast to a degree. I mean, in a way, it kind of is. Um, we're using a lot of the same ingredients that we would use when we make a French toast. So, bread pudding, French toast casserole. Um, yeah. Even though French toast casserole, we know, is just a tad bit different. But the chef, he's always got his uh, gears turning. And he, uh, he woke up this morning and he said, you know what sounds good to me? He said, I want some beignets. And I'm like, oh, good grief. <laughs> beignets are not really hard to make, but it's just one of those things that if you don't do it exactly right, they're not going to turn out very well. But I told him, I said, if he wanted some beignets, you know, in a week or so, then we would do that. But first things first is getting the spread pudding done. And I think either Saturday or Sunday we're going to be doing our lasagna which we're both looking forward to that because it's been, uh, it's probably been about a year since we've actually had lasagna. So we're kind of definitely looking forward to that one. So I'm going to finish cubing up this bread and I'll be back to show you what we're going to do next. Okay, we've got our, all of our bread cubed up now and this is probably about six cups of bread cubes. So, um, like I said, I always use French bread. You could use any kind of bread that you wanted to, but a lot of times if you go to Walmart on their discount break bakery rack, you can find a loaf of French bread for like 40 cents, which makes it even better. But like I said, I usually use anywhere from the 14 ounce to the 20 ounce loaf of French bread. So we've got this cubed up now. We're going to get ready to start on our mixture for this. Okay, we've got us another bowl here. And what we want to do first is we want to put four eggs in. We're going to get these in and we're going to get these beat up first. So another way to take out frustrations, beat on some eggs. Beat on some eggs. So we made it through the inauguration okay without no big issues going on with that one. So thank goodness that is over. So I'm hoping that everybody ends up getting another stimulus check like the the new president said he was going to try to push through, but you know, the president can only do so much. He can say he wants to do all this and all that, but unless he gets the vote from all the parties, it doesn't necessarily happen. Okay, so we've got our eggs in here now, and we're just going to lightly beat these up. Just a little bit. You don't want to overbeat them. Just make sure that they get broken up a little bit. All right. So we've got our eggs lightly beaten. Now to this, I'm going to add a cup of granulated sugar. Um, we've had a lot of people that said yes, they wanted to see the chef do the mirroring. Um, so that's going to be a video that's going to go up after this one. Uh, we have to film that one yet, but it doesn't take very long. So we'll probably put that one up. This one's going to go up late, I know. Um we are night owls you guys know us so the mirroring one will probably go up tomorrow sometime okay so we've got our we've got our one cup of sugar in there now we're going to do a half a cup of light brown sugar 
Got that in there now. Okay, and then to this mixture, which I'm just going to stir it around just a little bit. Get the sugar mixed in there. To this, we're going to add four cups of milk. If you want to add three cups of milk and a cup of heavy cream, that would be okay too. You don't have to use all milk. But we're just trying to make it more economical, so that's what we're going to do. And I do recommend with this one to use whole milk. So there's one cup. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. So the chef has a whole meal planned out when he wants these beignets. He said he wants jambalaya. So he's going to be making his New Orleans style jambalaya. Not sure when that video is going to go out. That could be a month from now. Just depends. We're not sure exactly. You know us, we just put them up when we put them up. I try to give everybody a little advance notice, but it doesn't always happen that way. Okay, we've got our milk in now. We're going to go in with about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Love the smell of vanilla extract. Okay, we want about a teaspoon of cinnamon, so I'm just going to eyeball this. You can put in a little extra cinnamon if you'd like. So I just don't, sometimes cinnamon can be overpowering, so I try not to do too much. And we're also going to do a teaspoon of nutmeg. Now, if you don't like nutmeg, you can leave the nutmeg out. And like I said, you can double your cinnamon or just not add any cinnamon at all. So there goes a teaspoon of our nutmeg, our cinnamon. And the last thing that we want to put in here is some raisins. And I think I told you guys, my sister-in-law... Had an overabundance of raisins. So she gave us a few boxes. And this is a good opportunity to use up some of those. The chef can eat raisins just out of the bag. He loves them like that. Me, not so much. I do like raisins, but I'd rather have them cooked. As opposed to just eating them right out of the bag. So even though I know that they're good for you. A good source of vitamins and iron. Alright, we're going to do... Um, normally we only do about a half a cup, but this time we're going to do a cup of raisins. So, because the chef loves his raisins. And, this is, there. I gave him a few extra, but if you're going to follow the recipe to your liking, a half cup to a cup of raisins. And, we're going to get this all mixed up here. Get all of our sugars and our spices mixed together. Try not to be sloppy like Penguin is, where I usually splash everything everywhere. Because I'm infamous for that. I'm surprised the chef's not falling behind me with a washcloth or something like that. Because I'm always making a mess. But he makes a very good, he makes a very good, um, what do I want to say? He's a very good kitchen helper. Because usually when I'm making videos, he's always in there grabbing the stuff I've already used, taking them to the sink and washing them for me. I tell him, don't do that, babe. I'll take care of it when I'm done. But he likes to be useful like that. Nine. Do what? Oh, I thought he was talking to me. Right now, he's not in here with me. He's in watching Wheel of Fortune. I think he, I always tell him he needs to go on Jeopardy. He always wanted to go on Jeopardy when Alex Trebek was still alive. He'd be a really good one to go on Jeopardy because he, in my opinion, he's very smart. He's spent a lot of time reading, um, watching TV. He's not a he's not a TV nerd by any means or anything like that or a bookworm. He just he just holds knowledge. He's just smart that way. All right, so we've got everything mixed up here now. Don't you just love it when the egg whites cling to the... I know it looks kind of gross, doesn't it? <laughs> all right. What we're going to do now, since we've got all this mixed up, is we're going to bring our breadcrumbs back over. Right here. And we're going to take all of this mixture that we just made... And we're going to pour it all over our breadcrumbs. You just want to get everything soaked. All over. Get all those raisins in there. 
Okay. Now that we've done that, we want to take a hefty spoon and we're going to get all of this stuff incorporated. We want to get this all down into that milk mixture and the spice mixture. We want to coat every piece of bread. We want this bread to absorb all of that moisture that we just put in there. Now, once I get this all mixed up, we're going to let this sit and soak for about 30 minutes. Let a lot of that liquid get absorbed. I have a 9 by 13 baking dish that I'm going to lightly spray and I will be preheating my oven to 350 degrees when it gets closer to time. So I'm going to get the rest of this mixed up and let it soak and when it's soaked for 30 minutes, then we'll be back. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes now and if you can see down in our bowl, a majority of our liquid has been absorbed into all of our bread cubes. There's a little bit of liquid down in there, but not a whole lot. So I'm just gonna give this a good stir around. And then, let me get my pan. Oh, sorry about my arm, guys. All right, I've got my 9 by 13 pan here, and I know I've talked to you guys about these temptations before, but I absolutely love these pans. They're the best. You don't have to spray them, and nothing will stick. You can purchase them off of, I think I got these off of QVC, HSN or QVC, but I'm going to go ahead and just give it a light spray with my butter spray. If you want, you can take a little bit of butter and rub it around into the bottom of the pan. Just to help keep it from sticking. If you don't have temptations, you definitely want to spray the pan or use butter in it. You want to do something, so, okay. The more butter, the better. The more butter, the better, the chef says. Okay. I'm going to dump all of this in here and get all of our bread out. All right. And we're just going to spread this around in our pan. This is a deep dish, 13 by 9, but that's okay. It's got a lid for it. So I can put a lid on it and cover it when I need to put it in the refrigerator to store it overnight. And like I said, it's very easy cleanup. Okay, we've got all of this down in here now. And I'm going to put this in the oven set at 350 degrees we're going to bake this for like I said 40 to 50 minutes you want to bake it until it's not jiggly and it's set on top so you can take a toothpick and stick a toothpick in the center and when it comes out clean you know it's ready I'm going to let this bake about halfway through and when it does we're going to get started on our vanilla sauce okay guys our bread pudding has been in the oven for about 30 minutes now so I just checked it and I set the timer for an additional 10 minutes. Like I said, usually 40 to 50 minutes is good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start mixing our stuff for our vanilla cream that goes on the top, our vanilla sauce. So I've got my medium saucepan here. And what I want to do is I want to add a half a cup of packed light brown sugar. Got that going in. And to this, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of all-purpose flour. This is just going to help to thicken up our sauce a little bit. i got my tablespoon here. We're going to go in with a tablespoon of our flour. And to this, to our tablespoon of flour, we're going to do just a dash of cinnamon. Not a whole lot, just a little bit of dash. We don't want our cinnamon to be overpowering in our vanilla sauce and we're going to need one and a quarter cups of milk whoops dropping everything now okay and again you want to use whole milk for this so there's a cup and about a quarter a cup and a quarter of milk so let me pick up the cap and wash it and I'll be back. Okay, sorry about that. Now, 
to this, we're going to add just a dash of salt. So I'm going to put just a tad bit in my hand. Just a little. Dash of salt. That helps bring out the sweetness too. Okay, and we need one egg. And like always, I will put the ingredients in the description box for this. That'll give you all the list of all the ingredients that you'll need. So all you have to do is just watch the video if you want specific instructions on this. And we also need a couple of tablespoons of butter. So I've got my knife here. I'm just going to cut off a couple of tablespoons. All right. One tablespoon in, two tablespoons in. Oops, I left a little in the package. All right. Now, that is all of our ingredients for this except for our vanilla, and we will put our vanilla in last after we have all of this incorporated. So I'm going to take this over to the stove. We're going to start cooking this. Okay, we've got our burner on about medium heat. So we're just going to mix this all around. Get everything incorporated, get our egg broke up. Basically what we're doing is we're just going to cook this until it comes to a boil. And we're going to continue stirring it until it gets a little thick. Once it gets a little thick, we're going to take it off of the heat and we're going to add a tablespoon of vanilla. Now this sauce is best to go over the warm bread pudding. But you can save it for the next day and you can heat up your bread pudding in the microwave and you can also heat up your sauce and pour it over then. If you don't want it on top of your bread pudding, then you can serve it in a side dish. It's all the same. So once this starts thickening up to a boil or gets to a boil and starts thickening, I'll bring you back. Okay, our sauce is starting to bubble now a little bit and if you can see it's getting thicker, it's clinging to the spoon which is what we want. You want to stir this continuously during this process. It's going to keep stirring it. It's going to get like a, well, it would be like a gravy, but it's sweet, so we're calling it a sauce. If you can see that. So we, this didn't take very long. It only took about five minutes. So we're going to go ahead and take this off of the heat, and we're going to add our vanilla in. We'll be right back. Okay, we've got our sauce off the heat now. What we want to do is we want to take our vanilla and timer is going off for the bread pudding, so perfect timing. We're going to add about a tablespoon of vanilla. Get that in there. Good thing I bought extra vanilla because we've been using a whole lot since before Christmas. All right, we're just going to get this all mixed in there. That vanilla smell is so good. Oh, so yummy. Oh, sorry, I bumped the camera. All right. And you know you have a good sauce when you can, when it sticks to the spoon like this. And you can run your finger through there and it doesn't. Mm, very good, everybody. It doesn't run back. That tells you that your sauce is perfecto. All right. So now I'm gonna take the bread pudding out and I'll show you that. Okay, here's our bread pudding fresh out of the oven. If you can see, it's plumped up nicely. All those raisins on top. We're just gonna let this sit and cool for a second and then we're gonna cut a piece and we're gonna top it with some of that yummy sauce. And then we're going to make the chef try it. Yes, we will. Okay, and we're back, and I've cut the chef a piece. Hi, chef. Hello. All right, and he is going to taste our bread pudding with our vanilla cream sauce. And our raisins in it. In it, in it. With a lot of raisin in it, in it, in it. Yes, sir. Still piping hot, y'all. Yeah, still hot. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, really good. Is it really good, babe? It's really good, and it's got a lot of raisins. That's just the way I like it. <laughs> just the way he likes it. Mm -mm -mm. So there you go, everybody. It's a close-up. Nice bread pudding, and it's delicious. So, yes, of course, Penguin has to have a piece, too. Yeah, it's still warm right now, too. It's good. Yeah, very, very hot. Nice and warm. 
let it cool down just a smidge because they didn't want him burning his mouth. But all right, well, we're going to end this video so we can eat this bread pudding while I'm, it's still warm. I'm going to eat it while she's making a video. Boop, boop. <laughs> All right, everybody have a great night. Uh, the chef will be doing that mirroring video, and it'll probably go up sometime tomorrow. And, right? Yep. Is that your plan? Yeah, that's my plan. All right, and we're going to be doing lasagna either Saturday or Sunday. We're not sure which yet, but um, just be on the lookout for it. And if you like our videos, please like and subscribe, yep. and we will see you guys in the next video. And see you all later. All right, bye, guys. Bye-bye.